G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. I've now got my Aqua Orange Field Sequential 2 colour system up and going. And it is, just like the red and green system, working quite nicely. Of course I'll probably need to add a few more layers of colour to for the colours to come up a bit stronger, but nevertheless it is working as to how I expect it to work. I'm getting a mix of um, colours made from the from the two um, colour mixes. So in this in this one, um, greens don't really come up as greens; they more come up as aquas, and the reds will come up more as orange oranges, and and you get a a mix in between those two. Um, primary colours, well they're not exactly primary colours but um, but for the sake of this experiment I'll call it primary colours anyhow anyhow um, I've got the Nyan cat displayed on on me colour system once again and um, I'm just trying to get it synchronised and get into a position to film it because this, the um, the Perspex disc is kind of reflecting some light which is making it hard but anyhow um, as seen um, you can see the nine cat in its in the mix of orange and aqua colours the pop tart looks the pop tart body of it looks relatively normal but um, it's rainbow um, doesn't look like the full spectrum of rainbow colour. It's really interesting seeing how how these two colour systems look. It makes great for an effect as well. But just alone seeing colour on a black and white monitor using this method is absolutely awesome and as seen I'm manually sinking the wheel by breaking the spindle so the wheel rotates at correct speed and I have to constantly adjust the braking as it doesn't, the speed doesn't really stay constant and the phase of the filter kind of shifts and now I'm going to pull up the uh, test pattern the colour test pattern and show you how it looks in the mixes of orange and aqua Let's go back and pull it up The size a little bit so I can fill it all on there. Yeah, the motor's spinning a bit too fast, and as you can see, you just end up seeing orange followed by aqua or cyan, or how it looks kind of more so like cyan than aqua. Now, slowing it down, you can see what the orange aqua will bring up for the colour chart. You can see the um, hold on a sec. Um, yeah, the greens and the blues come up as yeah mi a mix of uh, two different shades of cyan's instead of green and blue. The reds look pretty much the. Um, Magenta and the red pretty much look like just orange all around and of course the whites will come up as a a light orange and same with the yellows 
and of course black pretty much looks like black but at a slight tint Now I'm going to pull up my favourite lorikeet picture. Resize it a little bit. Slow the wheel down to its correct sink speed. And there we have it. A colourful picture made within the region of aqua and orange. It does actually look closer to the original colour picture using the aquas and the oranges. The greens seem to come up a bit better, but more tinted towards the cyan bluey region and the uh, head looks pretty bluish but still yeah a bit more tinted towards green and the the beak um, looks orange which is close enough to red and of course the, the belly arm um, is sort of on, on the, the the yellow belly or body um, looks more like close towards the orange spectrum which close to yellow so it makes it look like more of a plausible colour picture using the orange and the aqua mix instead of the red and the green mix so I guess if you're going to choose a two colour system I guess orange and aqua is a more of a plausible system and it actually looks yeah bit more like those um, how those 1920s two colour Technicolor technicolor films looked when they used using the two colour system they used pretty much a mix of orange and aqua I think they experimented with a few different mixes of of colours and this would have been one of them obviously And of course I uh, made a test video for my red green system which I'm going to soon put to YouTube. Um, hold on, I'm just going to go to it. Um, oh, wrong one, that's the actual video I made. Um, I'm just going to quickly position it to fit on, fit up on the screen. Good enough. So there's my test video I made. Slow the wheel down to... Uh, I think it's kind of rubbing a bit. Hmm. Hold on. Slow the video down now to... Sync speed. It's because the colours aren't deeply saturated it's kind of a bit hard to see the colour properly but it is nevertheless working and colours don't look too bad obviously it looks better from the naked eye looking at the viewfinder than it does through the mobile phone camera Here I am lifting up the colour chart.
Anyhow, going to switch the system off for now. Hope you enjoyed this little demo video of my now orange aqua field sequential two color system. This is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.